Well, everybody, at this point, you've just about seen the wrap-up of my secret prep series for my show back in May. Um, and then I was trying to decide if I was going to do another show or not. Um, kind of bounced some ideas off my coach. And I was looking to do a show out in Hershey Park for the OCB back in July. But I just had some things going on. The timing and the logistics just weren't right. So we decided to delay. However, um, I had two clients that are doing the OCB show uh, on August 25th out in Burlington, New Jersey. And... Since they were doing that show, uh, I figured why not throw myself into the arena again for the OCB. I did this show back in 2014. I had a really good time at the show. I almost won it. Uh, I had won my class, but it's coming second overall. So I kind of want to go back and try it again. So after the May show, uh, I basically reverse dieted a little bit for nine weeks just to get food up. Um, progressively just brought carbs up as we went along and for about eight to nine weeks just started bringing calories up nice and slow uh, I think by the end of that I was around 235 240 grams of carbs and I got up to about me 173 174 pounds for my stage weight of 168 and a half in my show in May uh, mainly did this just to help with energy levels kind of you know give my body a break from all the the 18 or 19 weeks that I did dieting into my shell and figured it probably actually helped me come in tighter during that time the one thing I did notice is I did hold a lot of size in in the May show but I felt like I kind of felt even though I won um, I felt a little flat uh, my conditioning was good but I felt a little flat just in terms of overall size so I don't know what happened over those nine weeks, but I feel like I gained some size back, which is weird. Um, considering you're in a dieted state, I shouldn't be gaining any size. And we started to diet back down um, and did the same thing with structured refeeds along the way. I didn't really want to document all nine weeks again. I mean, it's kind of boring for me to say we upped it by five grams or upped it by 10 grams or upped it by 15 grams and then I did refeeds on the weekend. Okay guys, next week, same thing. So I'm just summing it up in this video. Um, you know, we used the same, no, nothing special. Like, we just up carbs over the nine weeks using structured refeeds along the way. I usually had Saturday and Sundays um, as back to back. Several weeks ago, I did have a triple refeed once again, and then um, you know, slowly dieted back down. And the one thing I noticed is I started to come in fuller and tighter, I believe, uh, than I did for the May show. And as of this morning, I actually hit a all new uh, low, which is Wednesday 21st, I believe. No, it's got to be the 22nd, right? 22nd, 23rd, yeah. Wednesday 22nd, because 25th is Saturday. Um, I hit an all time new low of 166.5. So I'm actually coming in two pounds lighter um, this time than I the day that I won my pro, uh, pro show. So, as of today, we're starting again with the carb up earlier in the week, which made me absolutely nervous the last time, but after testing some things out, we're just going to go for it, uh, see how my body responds. So today, it's a 280 gram refeed. Um, tomorrow, we're estimated to do 310, and Friday, depending on how my body responds, we're looking at about 400 grams of carbs, depending on how my body does. Uh, today, I'm probably around 2,600 milligrams of salt. Uh, we're looking probably around 3,000 over the next two days from there. Water's going to stay around the same, about a gallon to a gallon and a half, somewhere in there. Uh, because my body can process that well enough where it, it just pushes right out versus me holding it or bloating. And I never cut water, as you know. Uh, and obviously I'm increasing sodium, I'm not decreasing it. Um, honestly, for the past couple days we did, we did a deplete, but not as hard. So Saturday through Tuesday we did a deplete. I think last time I was like at 100, 105 grams of carbs. This time we stayed around 140. I did um, two 25 minutes of miss on the bike on Saturday and Sunday. I did 15 minutes yesterday, uh, about 20, 25 minutes on Saturday and Sunday. And I think like 15 minutes for Monday and Tuesday. Today I think I only have 10 minutes of cardio, something like that. Um, but already just having a full cup of oats this morning with a, a full banana, like 110 grams or whatever, mentally, 
I already feel better. And um, I sent over progress pictures to my coach this morning drive prior to the carve up. He's ecstatic and so am I because my legs have more separation in them probably than they've ever had. I think that extra two pounds makes a huge difference. And then tomorrow morning, uh, Thursday, I'll send more progress pictures with a weigh-in and we'll just you know, kind of play it by ear. But Saturday is gonna be the day of the show. I will be doing bodybuilding open. I have two clients in men's physique novice and the men's physique open class. I'm really excited for the both of them. Uh, they have busted their ass uh, and, and suffered along the way to get dialed in. So I'm proud of them no matter where they place. Um, you know, one guy is a, uh, a personal trainer and also a boxer, so this was a really interesting experiment for him. It's something he's always wanted to do. And we already have ideas for how he's going to reverse out um, and training to help bring up some lagging body parts. And then another buddy of mine, um, you know, he had been in really good shape about two years ago, uh, but he had gotten into like an accident, so you know, he had just put on a ton of weight. So we just started off with wanting him to lose weight and get in better shape and get some of the fat off. That stemmed into him wanting to do a sh he wanted to do a show. So I said, okay, great. And honestly, they they're both coming in great. I'm like, I, I couldn't be any more excited. Um, it will be a little stressful for me. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm used to being at the show or you know being on my phone with my client during the day and then just you know texting them back and forth or being there telling them when to pump up, carve up, all that kind of stuff. And now. I'll be messaging my coach who lives in North Carolina and helping them at the same time trying to make sure that we're all <laughs> we're all peaking just right for stage. Um, so even as of this morning I was getting messages as you know with pictures and weigh-ins and I was telling them how to proceed with you know if they're carving up, not carving up, how much cardio to do, what not cardio to do, all that kind of stuff. The main thing with peak week guys is there's really no magic tricks to help you get ready. It's basically you should already be ready. Now it's a matter of just not screwing it up. Uh, so this is always like the, the touchy part where there's a lot of thought that goes into how far, how much, if at all, to do certain things and then get them to show day. Um, you know, honestly, I just, it's, I always get like a little emotional at the end of every competition season because you guys have no idea, like, physically and mentally how far you have to push yourself to get through this and like I said um, in some of my previous videos there are there are harder things in life and this is a conscious choice but it's just like a lot of work for very little respect and credit and stage time um, people just don't understand how much you need to know how much effort you need to put in how many hours that are are, are consumed by what variables to manipulate, when to manipulate them, when to increase cardio, when to decrease cardio, um, listening to your body to know when to push and when not to push. Um, it's just, it's one of the most intriguing things that I've ever had the, that I was ever fortunate enough to get into because it's literally just like a science experiment on your own body. And even on the, on the natural end, it's even more curious because you're not using any drugs. So you really have to fine tune things. You have to be very instinctive. You have to understand like constantly trial and error to figure out how to get your body to move the way you want it to move. When the body's mean thing it wants to do is stay in homeostasis and protect itself from doing what you want to do. I mean, it's completely abnormal. Maintain as much muscle and lose as much fat as possible. It's the exact opposite of what the body wants to do. It wants to maintain fat because it needs it to, to perform other functions. So I'm glad that I've just found something that I'm passionate about doing. Um, and I've been able to positively impact others, other people's lives to show them that if you stick to a plan and you understand there's going to be some sacrifice and some difficulty, you can absolutely get the results you want over time. Um, and I can just get rid of the misinformation, a lot of the bro science, the the avoidance of certain macronutrients or foods or the demonization of foods. And people can have like a well-balanced lifestyle and get great results out of it and like the way they look and feel good about themselves and develop self-confidence and just not have any of that associate, like any of that guilt attached to their body or the food that they're eating. It's just, it's an awesome feeling and I'm, I'm glad and it's just, that I made this leap to get involved with this and then 
finally deciding to take on you know clients um, even though I'm not like I said I, I'm not the most experienced or knowledgeable out there there are coaches out there who are by far superior than me in knowledge but that it's just that I have everybody's health in mind and if I don't have an answer I will research to the nth degree till I find an answer for them but I will not psychologically mess them up I will not ruin their health as health is always first and uh, you know it's just it's just a great feeling guys so I'm in a really good mood I'm in a really good place mentally because um, I've had a lot of other things going on so I'm just like trying to really enjoy this more than I've ever enjoyed it my biggest problem in life is I have really bad tunnel vision and I forget how lucky I am sometimes to be involved in things that I'm involved in or have the people in my life that I have and I don't appreciate it sometimes and I got to remember to wake up and you know there are worse things in life there are people who have a really tough life out there who have experienced some really hard things in life that I have not experienced so you know I'm just trying to like I said just trying to enjoy it I'll try to soak it up um, enjoy the hard work appreciate where I've brought how far my physique has come over the past several years how much better I've done this you know this season than in previous seasons and uh, you know I'm looking forward to experimenting with even a few more things um, you know in the off season to see how I can enhance my physique even further and I'm sorry guys this road is horrible and um, you know just learning more experiencing more and also getting back to life a little bit start focusing on some other things that need my attention outside of competition prep um, yeah it's fun yeah it's great yeah I can win a trophy and maybe even win some money here and there but I want to start having more energy and time to spend with my son go on some more dates with my wife um, go on day trips be able to go out and eat dinner normally without having to bring my food everywhere um, you know I have some more reading and learning I want to do and I feel like once my energy level starts to get back up a little bit more you know I'll be able to do those things and just in, in invest my time in some other things that are extremely valuable and will help me to just have other interests outside of competition prep all right guys um, obviously I'll have uh, you know I may have more videos after this for the next two days but I doubt it and uh, I'll shoot footage for the OCB show so you can see a little bit of what's going on and give you the results as usual. And then there'll be some more things I'll be talking about after the fact. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the Secret Prep series. I hope you enjoyed this very long video kind of giving you an update as to what I did post-show. Uh, I'm getting ready for another show going into it. And uh, I'll talk to you later.